Hey there, and welcome to this video of ForeFlight VFR Beginner Series. Um, in this particular video, I'll be showing you how I file a flight plan using ForeFlight. Um, ForeFlight VFR Beginner Series is a, a small little series that I put together showcasing some of the things that I've learned as a beginner ForeFlight user uh, and as a VFR pilot, and hopefully some of the items in these videos will be helpful to other pilots. So as I mentioned uh, just a, a minute ago, this particular video is going to be about how to file a flight plan uh, using the ForeFlight app. Um, I primarily use the ForeFlight app on my iPad as well as my iPhone. Um, this particular video will be showcasing how to do uh, or how to file a flight plan on the mobile app on an iPad. So once you have all of your uh, flight information entered into the flights section of the ForeFlight mobile app, then you'll see that a lot of the information is already kind of filled out here. So you have your estimated time of departure, your departure airport, your destination airport, your aircraft profile as well as performance profiles uh, are already uh, pre-populated within this flight section. Um, you have your route and and that's basically all the basic information that you have about your flight. And this is a very basic VFR flight. And then at the bottom of the screen, you'll see proceed to file. So this is where a lot of the information that you've already entered in your four flight mobile app flight section gets pre-populated or auto-populated into the filing form for your flight plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and click proceed to file. And then this little prompt comes up. And this little prompt, again, it pulled the information from your flight um, plan uh, on the ForeFlight mobile app and populated it into this form. Um, there, most of the things here uh, that have been pre-populated are required fields. However, there are some required fields that have not been pre-populated and I'll go ahead and go through those right now. So you have your form type, your flight rules, um, flight type, and then you have your aircraft information. Now, if you've entered your aircraft profile in your ForeFlight uh, profile or within your four flight account, then that will be pulled in and auto populated here. If you have not done that, I highly recommend it. Uh, it is a very useful tool to have just in general. Um, so the, your aircraft profile gets pulled into um, the form right here. Your departure information is also pulled from your flight plan section of the uh, four flight app. And that's what's the, what's filled in here in the departure section. In route is direct, cruise altitude, time. All of these, in, all of this information has been pulled. Now, fuel aboard. This is a required section for the filing form. So what you want to do is click fuel aboard and just go ahead and quickly scroll through and let them let the form know how much fuel you have on board. So I have three hours. And I'll just click off screen and now it's filled in as three hours of fuel. Remarks, you can leave blank. Alternate airport, alternate airport number two. Again, these are optional items that you don't need to fill into the form in order to file the flight plan. Again, this is all optional information. And if you filed a flight plan before, your name email and phone number are already pre-populated in here. If this is your first time filing a flight plan, then your name and phone number will not be there. However, your email address is the email address that's linked to your four flight account, just as an FYI. And once you've filled in all of this information, you can click file and it takes you to the next step. Now, there is one thing that I wanna show you and I'm gonna go back up to fuel. If you forget to put something on this form, you don't have to worry about it because it will not allow you to proceed without um, having the proper information filled in. So I've just deleted my fuel on board. Um, so let's see what happens. Once you click file, it tells you that there's something that you didn't do. Um, and that is the fuel on board. And I just want to showcase that it's okay to forget something. ForeFlight will make sure that it gets filled in. So I'll just go to three hours and zero minutes and click next. And then once you're done with this, you can just go ahead and, and click file. Now, there is one thing that's really important. If this is your first time filing a flight plan with ForeFlight, when 
you click file, it'll ask you for your equipment code. And then after that, your surveillance code. Your equipment code is your basic navigational equipment that you have on board. Most VFR aircrafts, it would be code S for standard, which includes ILS, VOR, and a couple of other ones. I think there are four that it lists as examples. Once you click next on that, it asks you for your surveillance code. Your surveillance code is essentially your transponder codes. And for a VFR simple single engine aircraft, like the one that I fly, it's uh, A and C. So you select the one that says A and C for your transponder. And then once you click next, then, then you'll see this file prompt right here for you to file your flight plan. And what I'm gonna do in the description section of this video is include a really, really useful link to ForeFlight that is a code reference guide that details all of the different codes and what type of aircraft they apply to or what type of equipment and uh, navigational equipment and surveillance equipment they apply to. So when you're done with this, you just go ahead and click file. And you're all done. And then you should be receiving an email shortly uh, telling you about the flight plan information. And then once you're ready to go, you can see here, there is an activate button at the bottom in green. You can amend it with the blue button or you can just cancel it with the red button. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more four flight BFR beginner videos. And if you like cockpit view videos of me flying around North and South Carolina in a Piper Cherokee 140, be sure to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.